Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I got a special package all the way from near Paris, France. Stay tuned. All right, so this package with three sets of string in it, all the way from France, from my new buddy, Jay. Jay was so excited about this string that he wanted to share it with the three of us. Coach Goo gets a set, Coach Chris gets a set, and of course, I get a set. Um, he actually sent over a video too, and I'm actually gonna play that at, for him to explain to you what exactly this is, okay? Take it away, Jay. Hi, Teddy Spin. Hi, Harry. Hi, uh, fellow subscribers, viewers of uh, the Teddy Spin channel. My name is Jay. Uh, I live in Paris, uh, actually very close to Paris in France. And uh, I have a request for Harry. So uh, there's this uh, uh, string that I would like for him to test. I, I love this string. I love it very much. But uh, let me tell you a little bit about myself first. I'm a uh, 4045 player and uh, I play with the um, Wilson Clash. Uh, and I usually use strings like uh, the Solinko Torbite, like I use this on this Clash. This is the uh, Roland Garros version, that's special edition. Uh, I use the um, uh, Torbite, a very th thin gauge on this one, 20 gauge, so it's the 105 millimeters. I use also um, uh, on my uh, Clash Pro, I've got two Pros and two regular Clashes. On this one, I've got the Solinko Confidential, uh, and I also use the um, uh, Solinko Hyper G. So I string at about, depending on the weather and uh, on the string that I, I, I string any, anything between 22 kilos to 23 kilos. Um, but recently I've tried this uh, new string. When I say recently, I'm talking about three months ago. Um, this uh, string on my uh, uh, Clash 100, it's called uh, uh, Mayo Savarez Monoflash. So it's, it's, it's manufactured by a company called Mayo Savarez. And apparently this is a very, very old company that was uh, uh, founded in, uh, I guess, in the 18th century, 1770, the year their company was created from an Italian company called the Savarese family. Uh, they moved over to France and they started manufacturing uh, strings with gut. So we're talking about a company that has been manufacturing strings for quite a while. Uh, I guess they were doing strings for, you know, guitar, all kind of, uh, you know, string instruments, maybe pianos as well. And they started manufacturing uh, tennis strings in the 1980s. And in, I think in 1990, uh, Justine Hena used to be the female number one player, used to play with Mario Sadarez strings. So this particular strings is uh, the one called Monoflash. They have other other versions, other makes of, of this of, of, of the string, they have mono fit, mono black. This one is a mono flash. They only do it in this orange color, but they have two gauges. This is the gauge, this is gauge uh, 118 millimeters. Uh, they have another gauge, which is a little thicker, which is 123. Uh, I like the 118. And since I tried it, I mean, this is really my go-to string. I bought myself a reel, I have a stringing machine at home. And something that I won't say very lightly, I prefer this string over the Solinko string. So uh, I think it would be quite interesting for Harry and Coach Gu and Coach Chris to uh, test this out for me. So what I did here is I have, uh, I have from this reel that I bought for myself, I uh, you know took out three pieces, here they are, that I'm putting in this envelope right here. And this will go directly to Tennis Spin in the USA, California. So here we are, I'm gonna send this tomorrow and I would love for Harry to give me his feedback. Um, let me tell you a little more um, about what I think about the string. This is a very flexible string. So it's a pulley, right? So um, it's, it's, it's very soft on the arm. Um, never had any, you know, arm pains or it's a very flexible string, but at the same time, it's, uh, it's, it's got very good pop. I, I mean, you know, it pockets the ball really well. Uh, it, um, the durability is quite good. I've been playing, um, I usually use it for about a month, uh, and then I cut it off if it doesn't break, but it, it, it breaks at about a month. So it'll say at about 16 to 18 hours of, of play, probably after the third week. So after 14 hours, I'll probably feel that there's a little bit of, 
you know, lots of lots of tension, but nothing dramatic really. Uh, so uh, I guess that this is this is pretty good. Um, if if I would have to describe the you know the sensation, the feeling of playing with this string to someone, especially to you guys, I know a lot of you guys play with um, uh, you know the Solinco strings. I guess it's somewhere in between a um, a uh, hybrid G and a, um, a turbine. So it's, it's, it's a quite interesting uh, combination, but you would add to that a little more elasticity at the same time. And the feeling that it gives you is very, very, very interesting because it still, it, it, it still has a lot of pop in it. So I actually love that. Uh, so um, I would love for Tennis Spin to uh, make a review of this, uh, of, of those strings and don't be surprised if you go to uh mayo savarez you see there's a website here if you go to this website it's actually you won't find this website i think it's it doesn't exist anymore they just have a website that is uh, savarez.fr and they just talk about the guitar strings um so i don't know if they're going to be you know stopping to manufacture the string i don't think they will because um the tennis shop where i actually found out about this string and what I got recommended is some place um a tennis shop around here very very close to my house and the owner uh he's you know he has a a wall with all of the wheels that people buy and just and they just leave the you know the reels with him so that they can come back and just drop the rackets and he pulls obviously a string you know a set of string out to for each player where they have so each player uh, they have their name on the on their reels and he must have a I guess a about 80, 85 reels on his wall in the rack. And out of those 85 reels, 70. <laughs> so about 90% of them are, is this one, uh, Mayo Savarez Mono Flash, which is quite amazing. Everybody seems to fall in love with this string once, they, you know, once they've used it. It's also not very expensive. Uh, I think the, you know, the whole reel, so it's uh, 200 meters costs about 59 60 euros so what's that about 70 dollars uh and in my opinion in terms of quality it's just as good as the solinco strings if not if not better in terms of feel i mean you know i could play with a solinco string anytime with uh you know the confidential or the tour by i love those two strings but since i started using this one that's really my go-to string now so um harry Coach Gu, Coach Chris, please test it out for me and let me know what you think. Uh, I think that personally, this is a hidden gem and, uh, and I think that it goes also perfectly well with a clash. So Harry, I think that you're gonna love it. And uh, who knows, maybe make it your own string. I don't know if they sell it in the, U in the US, but maybe you wanna call those guys and have it for sale in your shop. Congratulations also on your channel. I love your content. You guys definitely put your spin on my tennis. So. Thanks again for the review if you decide to, uh, to, to do it. And I'm really looking forward to hearing what you have to say about this Mayo Savarez uh, Mono Flash Street. All right, so we're on the court with that Mono Flash 1.18 millimeter in that kind of an orangey color, All right? So 1.18 is like 17 light maybe gauge, uh, borderline 17, which is what none of us usually use because we break it too fast mm -hmm. but let's see how it is All right, so we just got off the court, okay, <laughs> mono flash string. Coach Goo, what'd you think, man? Uh, honestly, I think this string reminds me, because I only use Solinko, um, kind of like a Hyper G. Uh, it pockets well, it gives a lot of pop and spin. Um, but overall, I mean, something like this, 17L, I don't play with, I used to play with 17, but I never tried a 17L. So hearing uh, Harry say that it was like a 17L and a 17, it's been a while, but 
and it actually feels pretty nice. Uh, overall, I enjoyed it. Um, definitely has a lot of pop. Uh, I'm more of a confidential, so a little softer, but a little more firmer. I like in between those two. Um, but overall, not a bad string. I pretty much enjoy it throughout because of the spin. All right. So, Coach Chris, what do you think of that? So this string, uh, when I first hit with it, um, I felt like uh, the power definitely was coming through it a lot. So as I was striking the ball, uh, I felt like because it was a thin string too as well, um, I had a lot of feel. Um, but I didn't have enough, uh, I don't think, uh, control. So as I was, it was hitting it, it didn't quite kind of um, allow me to hit enough uh, top spin to kind of grip the ball, or I didn't feel it kind of gripping the ball tight enough on the strings. Um, to then control it a little bit more. So that's one thing that I noticed. It does have a lot of feel and it does remind me a lot of Alu Power. Um, and it's a very, it's a definitely a thinner string than I normally play with. Um, and yeah, if you're, if someone is looking for kind of that uh, blend of like, you know, uh, high performance where it's kind of, um, you got a lot of feel too as well and, and power. Uh, this this is definitely the string that is worthwhile to try out. I think the word Coach Chris is looking for is um, shape. He's, he's missing a little shape from the ball, meaning it's not quite diving for him. Yeah. Right? Would I? Is that correct? Shape. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. So, just to expand on that, Coach Chris is actually wary of of this string. You know, he thinks it's like fish line or weed whacker or some kind of zip line or something like that because he's like, I don't trust you. What's, why does it look like that? But no, Coach Chris, this is real string, okay? <clears throat> it's real tennis string. The dude from France sent, sent it over to us. I mean, unless he's playing a joke on all of us, but it feels like tennis string to me, okay? So to me, actually, I like this string. I really lively, it. right? Yeah, it, 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 like I said, it kind of reminded me of a hybrid G, but... um. Yeah, that's what I would say. Yeah. This is like a hybrid G. So if you want a nice soft string, um, you can't get this in America from what I've seen. Uh, the guy in France uh, sent it over to us. I guess you can get this over in uh, Europe. Um, and I'll, I'll link that to you guys and what it's called and the exact details later on for you. But great string. Um, I'm definitely going to continue to use it until the end and uh, maybe see if I can get some more. Um, Maybe see if I can get some more out here in the States, see what happens. All right. I want to thank my man, Coach Andrew, for hanging out with me today. Where can we find you, Andrew? You can find me at ag.tennis. So I'll also be posting content there as well. Yes. And also want to thank my man, Coach Chris. Where can we find you, Chris? Uh, CV Chen, C-H-I-N, Tennis. I want to thank my man, Jay, from France. Merci beaucoup. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.